It seems too scary to be true. Like the scene from the Hollywood film The Mummy. The real life story has become a real life event. The unleashing of the plague of locusts on the living beings. The recent locust attack in India reminds us of our helplessness in front of nature. First, the pandemic followed by the Amphan cyclone and finally the worst locust outbreak endangering India's food security. Locusts are ravenous insects that target food crops and forage. Just a single square kilometer of locust swarm can contain approximately 80 million adults with the capacity to consume the same amount of food in one day as 35,000 people. In India, locust attacks are generally between July and October and that too mostly restricted to parts of Rajasthan state close to the border with Pakistan. However, this year locusts not only have caused heavy damage to crops in Rajasthan but to many other states including Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. Though Rajasthan has been invaded several times in the past two decades including a massive attack last year but Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh have experienced such an attack after about 27 years last in year 1993 and Maharashtra somewhere in the year 1974 after 46 long years scientists are confident that a connection exists between climate change and locust attacks since locusts breed and flourish in wet warm conditions and these conditions can be linked to indian ocean dipole a climate system that affects weather from east africa to western australia the altering temperatures in the indian ocean are leading to extreme weather conditions in australia and east africa the western indian ocean is heating up more than the eastern indian ocean atmospheric circulation and rainfall distribution are altered by the difference in these two ocean temperatures rising warm moist air in the west is leading to more rainfall and flood in east african countries these climatic conditions have created favorable conditions for their widespread breeding of locusts in east africa southwest asia and the area around the red sea they are also responsible for the current outbreak and for the increasing possibility of recurrent locust attacks unfortunately these conditions are also causing less rainfalls in australia hence the drought and increased forest fires just some time back we experienced the worst forest fires wiping out about 1 billion animals experts warn the situation could worsen and more locusts are expected to reach india via pakistan from eastern africa and southwest asia due to excessive breeding in those regions and wind patterns would play a major role in deciding the movement of the locust swarms